This is Kilo, and today I'm going to show you guys how to rekey a commercial storefront mortise cylinder correctly and how to avoid a very common mistake made by rookies. So what you'll need is a plug follower, a pair of pinning tweezers, the original key, hopefully, if you have it. If not, you'll have to learn how to shim a lock. If you need help with that, I will leave a link right here to how you can shim a lock. I show you exactly how that works very quickly. And you will need a Phillips head screwdriver. So what you'll do, once you arrive, you will remove this. There is a set screw that fits right into here on the side. You will just loosen him up. You don't have to remove him all the way. And then you can just twist him off. Or if you're having trouble with that, you can insert a key partly and just use the key to you know, remove and unscrew the mortise cylinder. And from here, you will turn him over and you have these two screws. So from here, we will take our screwdriver and just loosen them up and remove them. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick. And the other one as well and you make sure you don't lose these guys these are very tiny and if you have a very cluttered workspace in your van or your you know shop desk you can lose these fairly quickly so just make sure that you pay attention to where they are you can then remove this little cam here uh, if I can and he pops right off just like this and you'll set him right there with the screws so from here, we can set our screwdriver aside and you will take your key, insert him all the way and turn him right about here, just a little 45 degrees. And this way, because when you want to pull out the plug, you don't want him face up as if you pulled him this way, the top pins will fall into the bottom chambers and it can hang up on you. So go ahead and turn him to a 45. If you're really cautious, you can turn him sideways. You'll just have to turn, hold the cylinder this way. I always just tell people to go ahead and turn it this far. It's very simple. So from here, you want to grab your plug follower and make sure that it has a little notch cut out for this little spot right here, this little piece that sticks out. He fits right around him. So with your key turned to a 45 degree angle, you'll go ahead and just follow him straight out, just like this. When you follow him out, do not pull the plug. Just use the palm of your hand to kind of just push the plug out and let it just kind of fall into your hand. If you pull him, you risk you know, having pins fall between the plug and the plug follower, and then it can cause you some problems. If you end up with any issues where springs fly out or all the pins fall out. I do have a link I will leave right here to show you how to rebuild a lock cylinder. Now from here, you'll go ahead and dump out your pins, rekey it. And one mistake that everybody makes is once they have it all keyed up, just like so, you know, we'll pretend that we just rekeyed this, they go right back and they just go and try to put this right back into the cylinder. And the problem is, is that if you do that, you have to make sure that when you arrive at a job at a, you know, an actual storefront, and this isn't part of your course, you have to make sure that there are no master pins up above. Because if you rekey it to a new key and you insert it in there and it's full of master pins, what will happen is it'll work you'll put it in and then all of a sudden once you remove your key all those top pins will fall down and nobody's going to get into this lock so what you'll do once you have you know removed the plug you'll go ahead and turn this back you know straight you know north and south 12 o'clock position and you will take your pinning tweezers and just use your tweezers to push back the follower just you know barely any and you want to look, and I'll just show you quickly on a couple of them. You want to let the, you know, keep pressure with your pin or your tweezers on the pin. 
and just check that that's not a master wafer. If that one's good, go ahead and move back. No wafers and so on and so forth. That way you know for a fact that once you rekey this plug, he's going to work perfectly. To Once you get to about the third one, you'll want to go ahead and start from the back and just the same way you'll go ahead and push him and you'll look for that pin he's over here it's kind of hard to do this through a camera but you want to just same way check for master pins if it's all good you'll go ahead and push him back through and kind of angle him at a 45 go about your rekey process you know drop all the pins in there make sure it's flush and from here, leaving it at a 45 degree angle, we'll go ahead and just push him back through, just like so. Now from here, you want to go ahead and test him out. Make sure that there's no clicking or rubbing or anything going on. You want him to just be as smooth as you can. And another mistake that rookies tend to make when I go with them is they want to just, they do this and then they go to pull out the key. We haven't installed the back piece yet, so if you do that, you're going to pull out the entire plug and springs and pins are going to fly everywhere. And then you'll have to watch my video on how to rebuild a plug cylinder or a lock cylinder. So what you'll do once you've tested it is keep your thumb on the face of the lock or the plug and then you can pull out the key. From here, we'll put him face down. You will take the little Adam's right or, you know, whichever cam tail piece you have lay him on there then you will take your blue loctite never use the red one always use the blue and just dab him on the screw and this is because these screws come loose very frequently on commercial storefront doors as these locks are very heavily used so one common um, problem, and it's a video that I posted right before this one, on what happens if you get a call where someone's key is stuck in the mortise cylinder. You can go ahead and check out that link right here. And that is because this, these screws, these two, will be about this loose, and it creates a gap. And as you want to go ahead and insert your key, as you'll pull him, you know, you go to pull out your key, if we did it we would put him in just like so but we have this gap in the tail piece so it's not allowing us to fully you know put everything back where it goes basically all the pins to fall back and you are now kind of hooked so what you'd have to do as I show in that video is just the same way you would just either tighten him up with the key like this or just put your thumb on the plug just like before and remove the key. So once you have your Loctite in, you'll go ahead and tighten this guy all the way back down. You'll take your other screw, do the exact same thing on the other side, and you want to make sure that he goes in straight. If you if he's not going in, don't try to enforce him. These screws are very easy to strip, so be very careful and make sure that you saw how just to, I kept having to back it, go again, back it. You want to make sure that he goes in straight. You don't want to strip that screw. So from here, once he's on, you'll go ahead and, you know, make sure that he works in your van and he comes out perfectly. If you, he goes in and he's not coming out, like I said, you'll have to tighten up these screws. So once you know that he's on there, you'll go back to the door, put him back on. Again, you can put a key in halfway to have a little bit more, you know, help to spin him into the door, tighten down your set screw. Again, try him again. Make sure that he actuates and unlocks the door and that he comes out smoothly. And that is all there is to it. So many of you guys are in this part of your courses and some of you guys are just starting your jobs and you want to have as much knowledge as you can get before you start your first day. So hopefully this video helps you guys. If it did, feel free to drop a like. We're pretty close to our giveaway at 300 subscribers. So feel free to subscribe, like, and comment on any video and you will be entered into that giveaway for the Sparrows Lockpick Kit and Practice Lock. 
So thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Good luck on your first job and your course that you're going through. And have a nice day.